so I thought I'd filmed it, but I hadn't. I was looking everywhere for her. Um, I had to raise my voice and be a little bit firm because she was going like a mad woman up and down those curtains again. And I'm just frightened of her breaking something, you know, on her, not the furniture. Um, because breaks aren't funny, I can tell you. Um, so I raised my voice. I said, no, don't do that. Get down, didn't I? <laughs> oh, she put me down. And I think she was shocked at the tone of my voice. I'm so sorry, Harriet. And we've had a wonderful... Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so we've had a wonderful four days. Well, we've had a wonderful couple of months. But that's the first time I've had to raise my voice like that. Um, anyway, I didn't know where she was. And um, luckily, I always check to make sure that my lavatory seat is down. And I went walking in the bathroom, and there she was asleep on top of the seat. <laughs> so I think Mummy's in her bad books. Harriet! Harriet! Do you want a treat? Shall I give you a treat before you go to sleep? Will you be my friend again? Please. Please? Pretty please? I can hardly move again. This is ridiculous. Oh. So much pain, honestly. I think the epidurals will help. Um, and I think some self-help as well, by way of doing a little more physio on my own. I mean, they said they can do nothing, the physios. Until I get some surgery. I'm not going to get surgery. Um, it just isn't going to happen. So. Um, and to be honest. I don't want any more surgery. Harriet. Mm -hmm. Stay there. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. No, I guess you're purring now. Purring now. Here we go. Just a few. Just bedtime. Here you go. A few dreamies. She knows that's her draw, the treats. Mummy didn't mean to make you feel bad, darling. I'm so, so sorry. 